Thank you, guys. Let's go. With just two weeks before elections, Governor candidates Martha Coakley and Charlie Baker met last night for one final debate. Coakley fans appear to be out and supporting tonight, and there are fewer Baker fans out here. Uh, while they're in a dead heat, uh, we're curious to see where this night takes us uh, and how it will affect the coming election. We always have a freewheeling discussion with Jim and Marjorie, so I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. We intend to cover a lot of ground, and the only thing we can tell you about the format is that there isn't one. Coakley pushed Baker to be more that's transparent with his background. I want you to release your employment contract. If that's the case, then he is in violation of the law. And if he's not, then he should disclose his contract with the with Catalyst. Baker seemed keen to soften his image, focusing on his urban agenda. His community, so that people understand that not only do we care about them, but we get where they're coming from, and they can see us, and that they know we're going to if we make a commitment to them, we're going to follow through on it. We desperately need to create more things at night for kids to do in urban communities. No, I think, look, I'm very happy with, uh, with the debate and I'm very happy with our performance. And, and as I've said, uh, as people have gotten uh, more familiar with our message and our plans for Massachusetts, um, we've seen more and more of them, Democrats, Republicans, and Independents come our way, and I'm very excited about why, the next two weeks. I've had $8 million of negative advertising against me. Uh, we're working hard on ideas and organizing. We're going to win next week. Reporting for BU News Service, I'm Rebecca Sinatis.